Hey everyone, it's Eric here on Daily Mill FTM, and this week we are talking about gender as a non-specific sort of vague topic. And I think I wanted to focus on kind of the revolution of gender stereotypes and social norms involving gender. Uh, since I think roughly the 1950s, jobs that were traditionally for men and sports that were traditionally for men, since pretty much guys were allowed to do whatever they wanted and women couldn't do anything. Since then, there have been like slow but steady increases in the amount of women in certain places in the workforce and in the workforce in general, and in certain sports and in sports in general, blah blah blah. Those things, the things that kind of slowly started happening, were not quite to where we should be. You know, we're generally it's 50% men, 50% women in most places, but we're getting there, at least in that department. But some things that have happened recently involving uh, revolution in the way that we think about gender uh, definitely has to do with marketing and how we market toys and clothing. It's kind of hard for me to explain because it's late, but what I'm saying is recently with stores like Target where they've gotten rid of their you know special sections where this is where the girls toys are and this is where the boys toys are. That is now gone. Now it's just a toy section, which is great. Kids shouldn't feel obligated to play with a specific toy that they don't want to play with. If a boy wants to play with the Barbie, for God's sake, let the kid play with a Barbie. It, and you know, for these people who say, well, that'll make them gay. Okay, let your kid play with the Barbie. If they're going to be gay, they're going to be gay regardless of if they play with that Barbie or not. This will just determine if they're a happier gay. A gay or gay. Gay squared. These toys... Into the, we need to stop marketing to a specific gender. There should be no more, you know, hyper feminine toys that you know a boy is shunned upon for playing with, or hyper masculine toys that a girl is shunned upon for playing with. That needs to stop. We need to kind of have maybe, maybe some more gender neutral toys. We need more of those. There aren't enough. Almost every single toy has a clear marketed group. If you look at a specific toy, you can tell. This was meant to go to a boy, this was meant to go to a girl, this was meant to go to a dog, um, but that needs to stop. That's something that I think is upcoming, but currently, it also looks like I'm wearing a hat because of my guitar. <laughs> um, I think recently, also, Disney stores stopped having female and male sections for their Halloween costumes. Another thing I support. Um, I don't think it matters what gender your ghost is. It's it's still a ghost. Um, I don't know. I think personally, it's a good idea to stop marketing to specific age groups and to first of all, if you're gonna market to female customers, why on earth are you forcing them to play with these hyper feminine objects? Maybe they aren't as feminine as you think. Stop making them feel obligated to be that kind of It'll cause unhappiness. Why? We're making these people unhappy for what? Some concept that some society member created a long time ago and now we just kind of go with it and enforce it as if it is law? It frustrates me so much to see people who get angry over these decisions of companies to stop their gendered marketing. Because it's just... Why? Why are we holding on to these beliefs that are just making people unhappy? The point of living is to be happy. So if they want to play with a specific item or wear a specific item or do whatever, let them do whatever. So anyway, that, that little rant is probably over. And now, um, there are a lot of Facebook campaigns and Tumblr's infinite campaign to stop this unnecessary uh, categorizing of everything. Where you have, I don't remember the hashtag, but there is a hashtag on Facebook that's going around. I think fragile masculinity? Something about that, where people are taking pictures of items that have been masculinized that really shouldn't have been, like soap. A bar of soap. Men's soap. Okay. Men's razors. The products aren't any different. The packaging is the only thing that's different. It's, it makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to a lot of people, 
and I think our generation uh, will be the ones to usher in this new age of freedom. That's what it is. It's freedom to do what you want, it's freedom to wear what you want, be what you want, and just be happy. Whereas our predecessors and ancestors or whatever have enforced these gender norms that have made themselves unhappy. Don't know why they're still doing that when they're unhappy with it as well. They've been enforcing it and it needs to stop, just like this video needs to stop. I think you all get my point. Gendered marketing is pointless and I'm so, so very happy to see that we're having a sort of revolutionary uprising, some, something to those terms uh, occurring in the world today. Now, I'm speaking specifically from the United States, but perhaps anybody from another country, maybe leave a comment talking about how uh, gender norms have been questioned in your own country, how maybe people have fought them, fought for them, whatever. I would love to hear some stories regarding gender, gender marketing and gender stereotypes and all that. Uh, I'll leave a link to my Tumblr if you would rather do that instead of commenting on a video. I don't really care either way. And I will see you all next Saturday.